Hello friends, uh, welcome to another video. Uh, this is sort of a different video. Uh, it's about installing some lights, uh, no unboxing or anything like that. <clears throat> so this is our crawl space under our house. And um, I temporarily stored some stuff in here. These, uh, most of them going to recycle, some of them are going to uh, donation. Um, some of them are going to the junkyard, but temporarily I left them here. But anyway, the main reason I'm doing this video is to show uh, a bit of how to set up uh, lights in your crawl space. Now, in my case, usually crawl spaces you would, you know, need to crawl in them because they are too tight. Now, in my case, the front of the house and the back of the house, the grade for the ground is higher in the front than in the back. So in the back, actually I can stand. Um, so this here is about six inches above my head. So I can stand here near the door. And as I go forward, it will become, the grade will become higher and higher. So I will become, you know, need to crawl in there. but. The good thing is about being able to stand in it is you can turn it into sort of a storage right now It's not in a shape to allow that I know in the summer it gets really high humidity So if I'm storing something in here it would need to be something that will not be affected by humidity You know something like plastic um, um, uh, Aluminum stuff like that. So This is the main light you come here and you just pull this on. This is just an additional light I brought with me. But this is the main light. I added this fixture here that splits into five and I added these LED bulbs. But it used to be only one bulb here and it's not bright enough. I like things to be bright. So I added this. Now my idea is to take this original cable coming into this box and move it right here to this switch. So whenever I open the door, I want to be able to flip the switch and all the lights turn on. So I mounted electrical switches, uh, elect electrical switch boxes, I should say. I mounted electrical switch boxes. And also I mounted uh, electrical um, light boxes or junction boxes like this one here to put a, uh, like the ceramic thing in it and have a light coming from it, just one bulb. But I put these, like every few feet, I put one all over the place. And eventually the idea is to turn this switch on, this light switch, I'll turn it on and all the lights will turn on. So I will have full visibility of everything. I installed 10 of these lights Oh, not lights, the boxes. I installed 10 in the, uh, I guess you call these joists, uh, floor joists. And I bought four more. I'm going to put them in, in the tight area there. I'm not going to use that for storage, but I'll put some boxes in there. So the next step is to do the wiring. And then once I do the wiring, I will uh, move this box to here so I can have a switch and uh, connect everything. But this is just a startup video I wanted to do before I do anything to the crawl space. So you will see how it looks like. I have these lamps I stored here. I'm going to be donating, but I'm going to use the LED light, uh, bulbs from there here. And I have some other junk. That's my, <laughs> uh, my gaming chair uh, that I bought still stored in there. I mean, not the chair, that's just the box and it's going to recycle. And I bought some edging here. They were on sale at Sam's Club for $4. So I bought four of them. Um, I'll be using at least two of them and two will be spare. Um, yeah, some other junk here that needs to be recycled and like these buckets need to go to the post office. I used to use them before, but now we are not. So I'll have to take them back. Um, what else? Yeah, just some other boxes and uh, our water heater is down here too. So, yeah, let me move this light around here. There you go. You see better now. So, that is what I did just to start up video and uh, we will do some other videos as the work progresses. 
and eventually we'll have a full video hopefully maybe like 20 minutes or so don't want it to be too long all right thank you so much bye hello again uh, friends uh, I'm just doing an update here I was able to install some uh, uh, bulbs and uh, fixtures so um, today I wired this phone does not autofocus so I wired this uh, switch just on off switch and I'll be running the other cable right here this is what I have so one of the there are three wires one of them is incoming and the other two are outgoing from the junction box so i will just add a fourth one to the outgoing and we will have power to the lights um, that i'm planning to install so you can see it's a big mess here i uh, bought instead of these nut um, um, whatever you call them nut uh, screws to keep the wires together i bought the clip-ons they call them ensure something by the same company ideal so I'll be using those since I will be having like four wires the only thing is here I terminated the ground on the switch on the uh, on off switch but I didn't run it through because the fixtures don't have ground in them so just uh, um, neutral and hot so I wired the neutral together and the hot one top one below just to, you know, uh, complete the circuit. Um, so here is the wire. We'll just go do, I think I complete, completed four of them and the fifth one is coming up. So there is one. This is the first one I did. Uh, so maybe I should show you inside of this thing, but uh, I'll do the fifth one soon later and uh, I'll just do that. But I did these four. There is one. There is another one here. And these are all LED lights, so it should be pretty good. Um, yeah, that insulation, I bought some insulation support stuff. So I'll be using that to fix that, but I need to get the um, lights on. Okay, so. This is the drill I was using. Some of these screws to hold the thing in place were so hard. With this little little clearance, my legs were hurting. So that's the fourth one. And I ran the wire. And that's where I'm at. Now number five. So there is seven more to go total. And four complete. Actually, eight more to go and four complete. There is a total of 12. Okay, let's go back do the switch here in this spot I can stand in which is good so there it is so I'm going to put this together put the uh, face plate on it and then come back bring the wire here and uh, see if I can do that uh, tonight all right thank you bye All right, guys, so I said I will be showing you how these are uh, connected. So this is the one I purchased for the lights here, uh, made by Eaton, uh, keyless lamp holder, and it's ceramic, the material is ceramic. So these were, I don't know, like a dollar or something, I don't remember, but they are available at hardware stores, like Eaton is sold at Lowe's, but I'm sure Home Depot has some other brand, like Commercial Electric or something. Um, so they two screws come inserted like that with it so these are used to connect to um, the fixture and then they will go here and you tighten them so either bigger hole or sm smaller circle or a uh, bigger circle um, and in the back that's how they look like so you have one brass yellow one and then you have white one so white of course is for the neutral wire the white wire you see there and then the black one for hot goes into the brass so it connects to one end you tighten it and then this other end goes out from the fixture to the next light so if you have one 
you know wire coming in black will go here and uh, white will go into this other one then you have two free screws if this is the last uh, fixture you are installing then you don't have to do anything but if you have multiple other fixtures behind it or you know in the same line then you will take another wire from here from these two and take them out from the fixture out to the next one and you'll just continue to do that like a daisy chain um, of course there is a limit to how many you can do based on the uh, wattage and stuff um, so this says here it's 660 watt maximum of course the light bulbs I'm using are these dollar or 50 cents each which are uh, like I don't know like 9 watts or something so if you have 10 of these you are only consuming 90 watts which is very well below the capacity of the wire and the fixture itself so if you keep it on LEDs then it should be fine but if you have uh, um, a halogen or incandescent uh, bulbs that consume two three hundred watts each then you may be uh, looking at you know burning a few of these so and this is of course for um, dry locations um, not outdoor all right thanks so much I just thought I'll show you this Hello again. Um, so I completed the switch here and I ran the wire. There is the wire. I know there is some black stuff there I need to take care of, but um, I didn't own the house when that happened. Okay, so there is the other wire. And here, I was saying earlier, there are one in and two out plus the one I'm adding so that's three out and one in but I forgot about the transformer here so that transformer also has a um, needs to be out so I had to do like a pigtail um, I did a big tail pig tail uh, of two of them so I will have a result of four wires to connect so these are the connectors I was telling you about they call them insure so I use four of them plus two or three of these wire nuts but it's a big mess now I'm gonna leave it I'm tired today I worked a lot so I'm gonna leave this for now and then I'll buy some cover or something to add uh, to cover it and then I added one more uh, sp space there for additional light because I'm not gonna be using this one here I'm just gonna cover it just too much wires too many Okay, so let me show you when I turn on the lights. So, so you can see it's dark. And voila. So now we can see where we are going and what are we doing and all that stuff. Before, we couldn't do that. But we got four bulbs one two three four in there and I will be adding more but this looks really nice I'm, I'm so happy with it the only problem is that side is a little bit tricky it's not full standing or uh, squatting it's like in between so I have to like half squat half stand to work on it and it hurts my uh, muscles you know my leg muscles Anyway, I just thought I will uh, share this update with you. I'll keep updating as I go along until I finish. So now there is uh, not eight, there is nine left because I just added additional one. Plus I need to cover the junction box. It just looks ugly. <laughs> All right, thanks guys. Bye. Hello friends, just a quick update to this uh, video. I'm just making short videos and combine them all in one uh, complete project. So uh, last week I ran the cable all around to the rest of the fixture bases here. And there is one of them, the other one is up here which I already added the bulb and everything to it so that's complete. But I ran the cables there all around, came here. And then it goes back to, let me shine the light this way. And it goes back to there. And then also 
comes here to this one and then it goes back to that one and then there is that one also in the blue it's far maybe you can't see that we won't open it so there is that one there is that one there and then that last one there that's why there is only one cable coming out from it um, it's not going anywhere from there but I'm thinking about it maybe I'll add an outlet just so I can have something in there um, see this blue cable here I'm running an access point to the outside still all here on the ground so I ran it outside but I haven't done anything with it yet and all this vapor barrier thing is going out it's going to be organized and um, put a new vapor barrier and make it a little bit more like a storage friendly thingy so I just thought I'll give a quick update before I continue putting these bases and bulbs in here all right so thank you so much bye all right everyone uh, another update video it's been uh, several weeks since I did a video on uh, did the last video so I showed you last time uh, the wiring I did and I completed the work but I didn't do a video on it so um, in one of my videos I showed you this junction box that I uh, said I will be putting a, a cover on it so I did put a cover on it as you can see and I populated all these fixture bases with the bulbs of course uh, that took some time um, let me walk around here and show you Okay, so you can see those ones I did in the last video. Now they are all populated with bulbs and they turn on just fine and they make it look really nice. Today is a humid in here so I uh, put a fan. I was working or going to work on this side but I was working on this right side here. So there I left one last um, a box there. I'm going to put a, a bulb in it but from there I'm running a, 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 a two outlets. I think it's uh, something easy to do right now then later I'll be lazy and I won't be doing it so I'm gonna do it just now um, today I worked here I added that uh, outlet and I plugged in this LED light to it that way I can see in there I won't be using this space just so I can see it but I will not be using it for anything I'll just be using this space here it's a uh, 40 what is it 40 feet by 15 and that's big enough and I put another outlet here right there so I put two of them here <coughs> and I connected this light uh, fixture it's a bathroom light fixture uh, old one I had for a while and it's been sitting in the crawl space for a while not used and of course it didn't get rusty or anything because it's aluminium so um, <coughs> let's come back here I'll show you. Um, so yeah, that is uh, the last one. And I already wired an outlet here. I wired this outlet, everything. So I'm going to attach it here next to it. And then attach another one from this outlet, of course, to that outlet. And uh, I did it this way because I'm going to be plugging in lights to here. So every time I turn the lights on, I want these lights or switches to turn on as well. <coughs> so that is why <coughs> later on, I hung these uh, outlet boxes around that I will be. And I put them near where the um, vents are. <coughs> In the future, my plan is, <coughs> oh, excuse me, must be some insulation in my mouth. <coughs> I'm going to be running uh, additional wire uh, separate from what I just did to uh, all these outlets. <coughs> and I will be able to control that with one single switch. I can put like an outlet smart switch in the crawl space due to humidity maybe an outdoor one <clears throat> will be suitable and um, I can control that with my phone and eventually my plan is to put some vents that have fans in them 
that's why when it's I have a humidity sensor here in the in the crawl space whenever the humidity is too high <coughs> during the summer <coughs> I can turn on the fans with my phone or maybe even set a schedule on off on off so I don't consume too much power um, but anyway just thought I would show you so tonight I'm going to finish these two other outlets and I'll be done I won't be doing any more work with the lights. I think that is light enough. So you can see now the whole crawl space is lit up. And once that is complete tonight, my next step is to move all this stuff outside and replace this vapor barrier with a new one. Do a little bit clean up first and maybe just a little reorganization. But you know, it's just dirt, it doesn't really matter. So I'll just take this stuff out put a new vapor barrier in and um, you know hopefully do a better job than what it is now it's this is not a great job that's why the humidity is still up <laughs> you can see even the cold water uh, tubes here the the white one it's having condensation because it's the water inside of it is colder than what's in it what's in the crawl space so the humidity is condensating on it and it is dripping down and it's creating some little bit moisture but not a big deal so hopefully the new vapor barrier will fix that you know by allowing it to drip down uh, to the end there Okay, well, thank you so much for watching. I'll, I'll give you a final update later. All right, bye. Well, guys, uh, I completed uh, the lighting, lighting project for the crawl space. So all the light fixtures have bulbs in them. They're all wired, connected, and everything. I added four outlets. They're all in this back area here. So this was the last one I was working on, as you saw in my last video. So there is one. This one, the last one. And then I added this outlet. Right now it's not in use. And then I wired this other outlet from it. Right there. And then I plugged in this other LED light. So these LED lights, I think they are weatherproof and everything. So I'll just leave them here. If they get damaged and stuff, it's fine. They have like five year warranty, but they were not expensive anyway. They were like three seven three dollars or seven dollars at Sam's Club at some point. So they are a good price. Um, no big deal if they get damaged. So that's how it looks like now. You can see it's all lit up. I don't need to do anything in there, but you can see it's all lit up and everything. So I'll be replacing the crawl uh, space vapor barrier there. And um, maybe complete my access point wi-fi access point wiring thingy here it's been sitting here for several months and then i'll be done all right well thank you so much for watching um if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section below and i'll respond back to you as soon as i can um also i may be able to help you if you are doing something with your crawl space maybe i can answer some questions um i think that is the conclusion of this video if there is more work to be done i will just do a, another video separately like the replacement of vapor barrier just do that separate all right thank you so much don't forget to subscribe to the channel for videos like this one just a real um, um you know work you do around the house nothing uh video edited or anything like that just natural all right thank you so much and give it a thumbs up and share it. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye. Just one last thing, guys. I wanted to show you how it looks like in the dark. Now it's after 9 p.m. Uh, you can see it's completely... You can't see anything in here. It's dark. <laughs> Let me show you how it turns on. Look at that. Huh? Isn't that great? <laughs> I think I'm uh, so happy with this thing. You can see I love having lights everywhere. I want to see everything. So let me do a slow motion. Not slow motion, but slow move. This is 
Don't worry about the junk that will be going out later and putting a new vapor barrier and putting some shelving and stuff like that. I'll just uh, keep in mind it is a humid air in here. So humidity is high, especially during the summer. So I will put things that don't get damaged with the humidity. All right. Thank you so much for watching again. Bye.